Mumtaz Mahal, known as Achuman Bano, was a princess from the Persian nobility. She was the daughter of Abdul Hassan Asif Khan. Born in Akra in 1593, she was a member of a family that came to command the inner court of the Mughal dynasty in the 17th century. Her family's high status was secured when her aunt Merun Nisa, also known as Noor Jahan, married Shah Jahan's father Jahangir in 1611. Arjuman was betrothed to Prince Khurram in 1607, but it was not until 1612 the date chosen by the court astrologers that they were permitted to marry. In the meantime, he had taken another wife, so Archuman thus became his second wife. In their 19 years of marriage, they had 14 children, but only seven of them survived to adulthood. Finding her appearance irresistible, in 1628, Shah Jahan conferred on Archuman the title of Mumtaz Mahal. She used her position to promote humanitarian programs for the needy and also accompanied Shah Jahan on the military campaign in Deccan in 1630. Shah Jahan trusted her so much that he even gave her his imperial seal, the Muhriza. Mumtaz also patronized a number of poet scholars and other talented persons. A noted Sanskrit poem, Nishthara Mishra, was her favorite. Mumtaz died on June 17, 1631, while giving birth to her 14th child, a daughter named Kahara Begum, and was buried in Bahanapur at the place of her death. Her body was transferred to Agra in January 1632. The construction of Taj Mahal began in the same year after her death. It is believed that Shah Jahan got the hands of the workers chopped off to prevent them from constructing an imitation of the Taj Mahal. Everyone knows it as a monument to love. It is generally believed that Mumtaz Mahal was a beautiful and devoted wife who was content to have lots of children with her husband. But there is another side to her that is not well known. She was a very good chess player far better than Shah Jahan. Mumtaz wielded considerable political power and there are plenty of historical documents confirming her involvement in administrative matters and government orders. She was a far-sighted political thinker, strategist and the woman behind as well as ahead of her man. When Mahal died, Shah Jahan was so grief-stricken over her loss that he went into deep mourning for a period of two years. Another intriguing myth surrounding this grand edifice is that of an unfinished second black Taj Mahal, according to which Shah Jahan planned to construct a replica of Taj Mahal in black marble on the opposite side of Rumna River. He even began the construction of this tomb but left it incomplete as he was deposed and imprisoned by his son Aurangzeb in Agra Fort. He spent the last few years until his death as a prisoner gazing at Taj Mahal from a window in Agra Fort. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give us feedback on today's video.